Welcome to the Belgian Exchange. I'm Amelia Francis Fincham, and today we're exploring the culinary delights in the city of Ghent. Local cuisine in Ghent is often regarded as some of the best in the country, and you're about to find out why. Everyone knows Belgium is famous for its chocolate, beer, waffles, and of course, its french fries. But we're going to take you on a journey into some more traditional delicious sweets and savouries that the locals here can't live without. And maybe some that they can. This historic city is famous for its medieval architecture, winding canals, and vibrant culture. But did you know that Ghent is also home to some unique culinary creations? From hearty stews to delicious sweets and treats, there is something for every taste bud here. with Stovre, a Ghent staple. This beef stew has beer, onions, and spices to give it a robust flavor. The rich, delicious sauce goes perfectly with a slice of fresh, crusty bread, and the meat is slow cooked until it comes apart. Adding crispy french fries as a side elevates this dish to ultimate comfort food status a must-have after cycling on long cobblestone streets in the snowy winter. Now, if you're looking for something sweet, try the famous Kuberdon candy. Sugar gum and fruit flavoring are combined to form these cone-shaped candies. The locals have nicknamed them Little Noses, but I still need to figure out why. They have a soft, chewy exterior and sweet syrupy center that explodes on your tongue. Ghent's famous Kuberdons are usually everywhere throughout the city in candy stores or marketplaces. There is also a riveting tale of two vendors that have been at war over sales territories for years. Next, we have Mastel. It's a type of bread that is unique to Ghent. It's a round, slightly sweet, crusty loaf with a chewy texture. It's often served with butter or cheese and is usually added to my Stonewall Beach picnics. I use the term beach very loosely. It's pretty much where the crowd flocks at the canal's edges in old-fashioned beach chairs. My favorite dish, if you can call it a dish, is a local elderflower liqueur called Rumor. Often using cocktails or sipped alone, its delicate floral flavor make it an ideal <laughs> summer beverage. One of my favorite drinks from Austria was the famous Hugo cocktail. It's made with St. Germain liqueur. I could never get sick of these, and I feel like this one is their Belgium cousin. Now, you can't come to Belgium without having a beer. Strop is a local one here, and I know we said we'd try unique hidden gems, but there are a few cliche items on my list that couldn't be overlooked, as they are specifically created right here in Ghent. One of them is Strop, which is brewed and named the Proud City. It's a strong blonde with complex flavors, fragrant with a slightly bitter finish. Hmm, that kind of sounds like me. Last but not least, let's talk about the famous Belgian waffles. While they're not unique to Ghent, they are still worth mentioning. These fluffy golden waffles are made using a yeast-based batter and cooked until they're crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. They're often served with whipped cream, fresh fruit, and a drizzle of chocolate sauce. Make sure you ask for an extra napkin. Ghent has a rich history with plenty of cultural traditions and its cuisine reflects that. 
Overall, it is a foodie's paradise. So now you have more delicious Belgium dishes to add to your travel bucket list. Next time you find yourself in Ghent, be sure to try some of these local specialties. From decadent sweets to hearty dishes and delicious refreshing drinks, there will always be something for you to indulge in. Cheers.